In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use a controller on Minecraft Java Edition on a Mac. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. As you might be aware, Minecraft Java Edition does not have native controller support, so in order to achieve this, you will need to use mods. I'm going to teach you which mod you need to download and how to set it up. It's only a specific mod, but you need to download some additional things to make it work. Something else that I need to make very clear before I start this video is that I am going to be doing this process on my Windows PC. I apologize for not doing this on a Mac, but you will still be able to follow along and download this for yourself. So first, you will need to download one of the available loaders. It doesn't need to be Fabric specifically, but it is the one I recommend. So you have Fabric, Forge, or NeoForge. It's up to you to choose which one you want to use. In the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter. But if you are using other mods, you might want to download a specific one. For Fabric, you will visit the website at fabricmc.net, choose the download option, and also download the Fabric API. When you visit the Fabric Fabric API website, you click on download here on CurseForge and you choose your particular version of the game. So you select the specific version and then download. This will be a jar file. For the Fabric installer, this is what it looks like. So you will pick your Minecraft version. You can also enable this for snapshots. The loader version, usually just leave this on the latest one available and then you click the option to install and it will automatically set it up for you. For the Fabric API JAR file, hold it for now and then download Controllable and Framework. Controllable is the actual mod that will give us controller support. It is made by Mr. Crayfish and you also need Framework for it to work. So if you go to the Controllable page, you can click on his profile and you will also find Framework available in here or you can just look for it on Google. So download controllable and framework. Once again, you have to choose the game version. So in my case, 1.21.1, and then the mod loader that you are using. It's important to pick the correct one. So for us, it's going to be fabric, but you can choose forge or neo forge. Once you have these jar files downloaded, you have to go over to your application support folder and access the Minecraft folder. Again, because I'm doing this on Windows, it is different for me, but for you, it is going to be on application support. If you don't know how to access that, you have to go into your library and you will find it there. Then create a new folder. So inside of the Minecraft folder, check to see if you have mods. If you don't have the mods folder, simply create it. And then inside you will have the controllable, jar file, the fabric APR jar file, and finally framework. With all of these files loaded, you can open the Minecraft launcher and choose the option to play using the fabric installation. And as long as you set everything up properly, you will be able to use your controller. As soon as you connect it to your Mac and you press buttons, it will be detected and everything will be adjusted. You will see it in the HUD at the bottom left and you will be able to play. So I hope I was able to help you on setting up a controller. If this video helped you, please consider subscribing. As you can see, 83% of the people watching our videos are not subscribed. By subscribing, you can help us on the channel make high quality content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.